Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today for How To Be Happy January, I am going to be showing you my recent rehabilitation of my house plants. Now I get so many comments from people on the internet and in real life saying to me like, how do you keep all your house plants alive? I do not keep all of my plants alive. I've definitely killed my fair share of plants, but I thought it might be interesting for some of you to see what I do on a day where I decide to give my plants like the full on spa day plant 911 rehabilitation makeover. So that is what you're gonna see today. Fast forwarding, I can tell you that what I'm about to show you actually made a huge uh, difference in all of my house plants. So a lot of this is probably going to be pretty repetitive, but I've seen other channels do this with cleaning videos where they'll kind of just like let you see what's happening. So there'll probably be a good amount of that because I really don't need to explain me taking my plants out of my macrame. I will say though, if you have some kind of tip as to how to make it easier to get your plants out of your macrame, please tell us all in the comment section down below. I am dying to know your secrets. Um, because all I do as of now is just lift the macrame to release the pressure around the pot and then I slowly bring the plant out trying to take care of each um what do you call it not tendril but like each vine and not rip any of the leaves even though I knew I was going to be trimming some of them upstairs I just wanted to bring them up as healthy as I could One little hack about my house plant situation is you'll notice a lot of my plants are pothos and it's a certain type of house plant that I feel like is so easy like you just have to make sure it gets some sun and some water I know that like superb care of the plant takes a lot more than that but I feel like just because you're not doing something perfectly does not mean that you shouldn't try I'm learning all of the time about my house plants and gardening and my tower garden and that's a huge part of the fun if I waited till I was an expert to jump in I don't know if I ever would have started so I'm learning as I go. So once I transferred all of my house plants up to my bathroom, I just tied this trash bag on the door so I could gather all of the leaves and trimmings and just trash that I make in the bathroom. And I basically went through each plant and either pinched off or cut off the dead and very unhealthy looking leaves. I will say I did sanitize my scissors ahead of time. That's something that I've read you should do before you cut your plants. So at this point, I turned on the shower and filled up the bathtub with a few inches of water because after I water my house plants, I'm going to actually set them in the tub. And this was actually a trick that I learned from my mom. Like I said, it really ended up working well. I would say it was room temperature, a little cool water. To my knowledge though, you don't want your water to be too cold because you don't want to shock the plant. So at this point, I decided to cut down some of the vines that had grown. I love that the vines grew on some of these plants, but I let them go so far that the leaves had fallen off and I just kind of decided I wanted to start over. Besides, everything I've read has kind of indicated that trimming and pruning is very good for your plant because it causes it to create new life and grow faster. Actually, I find that interesting because it's the same thing with your face. It's the same theory behind micro needling and laser treatments by creating a little bit of damage. I mean, it's not the same thing, but similar veins. By creating a little bit of damage, um, your body produces more collagen and wants to heal itself. I fit all of my plants into my tub except for two and I actually left those in the bathroom sink with a little bit of water filled up at the bottom just like the tub.
Then at this point, I gave everything a nice little hose down again, just to make sure that everything was nice and moist and hydrated. After I allowed my plants to soak for a few hours, I wanna say it was like five hours or so, I unplugged the drain from the bathtub to let the water pour out. So at this point, I used this organic grow all-purpose plant food, and I poured some inside of my little watering can. I stirred everything together and then watered all of my plants. Now I will say this stuff smells disgusting, like manure, because that's basically what it is. Side note, the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding some new potting soil to my plants because I didn't do that at this point, and I'm realizing like I washed away a lot of the soil, and I know my plants would thrive so much more if I added new soil soil so I'm gonna be doing that soon by the way speaking of plants I just thought why not I would check on my tower garden and my sprouts this day I will be uploading a second tower garden diary soonish in life so I just wanted to give you a heads up and then at this point we went through the house and we put all of the plants back in our macrame now not every plant went where we originally got it like some plants we put in different places but we put them all back Oh yeah, I filmed this when I still had my tree up. By the way, shout out to Dan for helping me so often with all of the projects around the house. His next project is going to be converting our patio into an enclosed room. And I was just telling him that I really want to film that process for you guys. So that's a side note. But that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found some inspiration in it to take care of your plants or maybe bring some plant friends into your life. Speaking of inspiration, if you need any food inspiration, my last how to be happy January video was actually a recipe to make healthy garlic rosemary bagels they are game changing especially if you're obsessed with bagels like I am so be sure to check that out if you missed it and I will see you guys back here Monday with a new video all right bye guys